Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Israel Brief. I'm your host, Rolene Marks, and uh, like we do every day, let's take a look at the top stories. And uh, it was the proverbial mic drop heard in the House of Representatives in the United States as uh, members of the House voted in a overwhelming 398 to 17 with five abstentions in favor of an anti-BDS resolution. Now, not only does the resolution condemn BDS, which is the Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions movement against Israel and any campaign of BDS against Israel, it also voted in favor of increased funding for security as well as a two-state solution. Now, I know many of you are wondering who could have been in uh, the group of those who said no. Well, as predicted, our three very, very controversial congresswomen, the rookie congresswomen, who are gaining um, a lot of coverage lately for their comments that are seen as extremely anti-Semitic and uh, pushing a pro-BDS agenda, that's Ilan Omar, Rashida Talib, and uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, all voted uh, no against the resolution. So that uh, pretty much makes it clear where they are standing. But uh, I think this sent an overwhelming message to Ilan Omar, who has also sponsored a bill saying that uh, boycott campaigns should be allowed. I think that this has sent an overwhelming message to her to say, Ilan Omar, this is not the American way. And also, it is our belief here at Lay of the Land that anybody who is sincere about, uh, about peace, about normalization, uh, believes in discourse, believes in discussion, believes in a communication between Israelis and Palestinians. And while some, like Rashida Talib, have compared Israel not only to Nazi Germany and apartheid, but also to apartheid South Africa, one would serve to remind her that it was not boycotts, divestments, and sanctions that brought that brought South Africa into democracy. It was the the courage of two leaders to sit down and talk. But at this juncture, we would also like to remind. Uh, Congresswoman Talib that Israel is not an apartheid state and judging by my South African accent I may know a little more than she does. Uh, so uh, now off my soapbox to bring you the second top story of the day and that is Hamas spokesperson Abu Obeda has said that the opportunity is now to discuss uh, a prisoner uh, release or a um, captive release and he also tried to poke at Israel's recent uh, racial tensions with the, the Ethiopian community by saying that the Israeli government had not inquired about the well-being of Avraham Mengistu and uh, yet again this shows Hamas's ability to try and uh, stir the pot and try and stir trouble in other areas but uh, addressing uh, many at a memorial ceremony for Operation Protective Edge yesterday. Prime Minister Netanyahu, while not giving too many details away about negotiations, reiterated that the government is doing everything they can to ensure that the captive civilians as well as the remains of fallen soldiers Oron Shaul and Hadar Golden be returned to Israel safely. Now, as mentioned, uh, yesterday marked five years since uh, the start of Mifza Tsukaitano Operation Protective Edge, the 50-day conflagration with Gaza that um, happened in 2014, which left 74 Israelis, including 69 um, IDF soldiers and uh, five other civilians dead, as well as over 2,000 Palestinians uh, who were who were killed in the in, in the battle. And uh, while we're talking about Palestinians, we must mention the use of Palestinian civilians by Hamas and other terror organisations as human shields in a time of conflagration. And we can have whole discussions about uh, Israel's system of warning civilians about uh, the use of human shields, about uh, the, the numbers of Hamas operatives who were killed during uh, Tsukaitan. But uh, at this moment, we want to take 
the opportunity to remember our fallen and uh, remember the circumstances that led to Tsuke Tan. It was the discovery of the tunnels that were built from Gaza into Israel with really, really nefarious intentions like the either the, uh, laying siege to Kibbutzim or kidnapping and murdering Israeli civilians. So our thoughts, our prayers are with all those who fell and may their memories be blessed. And um, you can read more about the situation in Israel. You can also read archived articles uh, about our uh, conflagrations with our neighbors in the south in Gaza. But uh, if you want to read new content, you can check out our webpage at www.layoftheland.online. You can read Bafana Modise's response to um, a group of Christian leaders in the United States who voted in favor of BDS. You can read his response as to why that vote is not beneficial to anybody. And also don't forget uh, our Facebook community. If you haven't joined, why not? But go join us uh, this very moment by liking us or following us at Lottle site. Uh, just look out for this kind of logo and like us or follow us there. And uh, if you're viewing us on YouTube or would like to view us on YouTube, you can look for the Israel Brief and simply click on subscribe. So uh, that's it for the Hump Day edition of the Israel Brief. I'm Raleen Marks and we'll chat again tomorrow.